Today we're going to work with the 45 degree angle triangle. We'll be creating a square and expanding a duplicate. Materials needed. You'll need a drawing surface, something with a straight square edge on one side. A piece of paper. Your T-square. 45 degree angle triangle and a pencil, preferably a mechanical pencil. We're going to start by using the T-square, drawing a horizontal line, and we're going to call this a baseline. Next, we'll use the 45 degree angle triangle with the T-square. We'll draw a vertical line and we'll call this the height line. Now we'll determine the width of the square that we're drawing and we'll indicate this by putting a dash mark on the baseline. Now, we'll line up the 45 degree angle triangle to that dash mark and transfer this measurement to the height line by drawing a 45 degree angle line until it crosses the vertical line. Line up the T-square to where that diagonal line crosses over the height line and draw a horizontal line. Now take the 45 degree angle triangle and draw a vertical line where that dash mark is to complete the square. We now have a perfect square by only using one measurement. Now we'll make a duplicate of the square without measuring. All the same steps apply. We're going to use the 45 degree angle triangle from the corner, transfer the measurement over to the height line. Where they cross, we'll put a horizontal line. And then we'll finish the square by adding a vertical line. We've just created a duplicate of the square below without any measurements. Let's try one more. We'll duplicate the square again on the right side. Okay, let's move on. The 45 degree angle triangle using alignment, expansion, and subdividing. Let's draw squares 1, 2, and 3 you see at the right side of your screen. 
Just like the last exercise, we're going to draw a horizontal line and a vertical line. Determine the width, draw a 45 degree angle. Draw another vertical line and a horizontal to complete a square. Now we'll draw square number two. We'll subdivide the first box to find the center. We'll draw a horizontal and a vertical. And at the corner of box one, we'll draw a 45 degree angle line. And where they cross the two other lines, we'll do a vertical and a horizontal to complete box two. Okay, moving on to square or box number three. We are going to subdivide that top right quadrant of box two, find the center. We will draw a vertical line from the center, a horizontal line, and then using the 45 degree angle triangle, we'll draw a line from the corner, and then we'll complete the box by adding a vertical and a horizontal to complete box three. It's important that your initial lines, also referred to as your plotting lines, are drawn lightly. You can go back in afterwards and verify the shape of the objects by drawing the lines darker. You can also use an ink pen to verify your lines, and then erase out your plotting lines at the end for presentation. For the purposes of this class, I want you to keep all your plotting lines in place so I know how you got to the end result. Using the skills that we've learned so far in this lesson, we're going to do a drawing exercise in 3 8 inch scale. You will find a copy of this handout in Blackboard after this video. You can see we have seven different objects to draw. I've given you four different measurements circled here. These measurements are all the information you will need to complete this drawing exercise. We will be drawing this exercise using 3 8 inch scale. We've already had a lesson on how to read half-inch scale. This is pretty much the same thing, but let's take a closer look for clarity. In 3 8 inch scale, each dash represents one inch. The longer dashes are a visual reference for the three, the six, and the nine inch increments. For further clarification, I place the scale ruler on top of the handout. Where it says 10 foot 10 inches, I've circled the measurements on the scale ruler. I also did the same for the 5 foot 6 inch measurement. Using the T-square in combination with your 45 degree angle triangle, you will subdivide and expand. I've left all the plotting lines in this handout for your reference. The goal of this exercise is to navigate around and have box 7 align with box 3. Once you've plotted all 7 shapes, Verify the final objects. Please include the measurements and leave all the initial plotting lines in place so I can see your work. 